Hi guys. Okay, let's look at the calculation of the Diborean formation reaction using the uh, Hess law methodology. So we would be given the pathways reactions and as the Hess law is the law of summation. So basically we are going to be adding or subtracting the heaps of reactions which are of the pathways reaction so that we can identify how much is the delta H value of our target reaction. So before we proceed further, let us um, review the postulates or the characteristics of the Hess law, which we had already discussed in our previous video lecture as well. So just a quick review is that any time a reaction is reversed, the value of delta H is also reversed. Any time you are balancing a reaction and you are bringing in a coefficient, just make sure that you multiply the value of delta H of that reaction as well with the same coefficient. We cancel out the common reactants and the products on either side of the equations. And we add the reactants and the product on the same side of the equation. Now, when we are balancing equations using the fractions, then first we are going to balance the fractions first. After that, we multiply by the whole, whole number as needed. So we are going to look into these here. In this uh, example, four pathways reactions are given to you. Okay, and you are given the target reaction, which is explained in, which is highlighted in yellow. So two moles of boron are reacting with um, three moles of hydrogen to give you B2H6. So this is our target reaction. Now let us analyze our pathways reactions and those pathways reaction number one. Pathway reaction number one, what are we going to do with that? So first is we are going to match whether the reactants or the products are on the same side of the equation. So if you look at it, we need two borons to be on the reactant side and the pathways reaction is also showing that, that two borons are on the reactant side. So yeah, we do not have the oxygens or the B2O6 to BO23 to compare. However, two borons is good enough. So therefore we are going to keep this equation or this reaction keep as is, okay? So do not change it. So do not change it. I'm gonna just put a little bit here. Keep as is, okay? So let us write down. If we are keeping, so keep, keep re uh, reaction A as is, okay? And so here I'm going to put this as, the, we are doing the steps. So this is step number one. So keep reaction in A as is. So just bring it down as it is. So two moles of boron in the form of a solid reacting with three over two moles of oxygen as a gas. And this is giving you B2O3 as a solid. And the value of delta H is negative 1273 kilojoules. Okay, so delta H is equal to whatever those values are, those are going to be in kilojoules, okay? For the rest of the reactions. Now, that is key. Now, here's something else you also have to keep in mind. And that is, I'm going to just put this here in a different color. And that is, what do you three and three by two O2 mean? Three by two O2 means one and a half O2, okay? One and a half O2. And that also is 1.5 O2. Okay, 1.502. So this is this is how you open up these numbers. Okay, so now let's look at the next one. Next one is, the next piece is our next step. Now, next pathway reaction is B2H6. Now, match it with the target reaction. So we see that the B2H6 is on the reactant side in the pathway reaction, but B2H6 is on the product side in the pathway. So look no further, you just have to flip it. There's no other choice. So we are going to flip this. So we will flip or reverse this, the flip uh, reaction B2. And when we are flipping that, so just make sure that now this number becomes positive 2035. So let's flip, let's write the flipped reaction. The flipped reaction is, so we flipped, we flipped reaction B, okay? And now it looks like this. So we have B2O3 
as a solid, okay, reacting with three moles of H2O, okay, three moles of H2O as a gas. Very important to write the states also. And this gives you B2H6, okay, B2H6 as a gas plus three moles of O2 as a gas. And so when we flip, this becomes positive 2035 kilojoules, okay? Now, again, when we flipped it, there's a good part that happened that we can now get rid of B2O3. So otherwise the reaction becomes too long. So let us try to cut down a few elements right here and shorten it. So we see that B2O3 is on the reactant side and B2O3 is, sorry, is on the product side in the upper reaction and is on the reacting side in the bottom one. So those cancel out and the rest of it, you're just going to copy. Uh, there's something else also. Look at this, three by two O2 as a gas and look at this three O2 as a gas. So what is the meaning of that? So that means three O2 is going to minus three by two O2. So what do we get here? So let's first write this reaction here. So now we have two moles of boron as a solid, okay? And this is, next is, we are going to bring in three moles of H2O as a gas, okay? And I'm going to write the uh, piece later, but let's do this. And this is giving you B2H6 as a gas and three over two O2 as a gas. And when you take this, um, the minus two zero three five minus one two seven three, and this gives you 762 kilojoules. So this is one piece. Now let's just look at how did we get three by two O2. Okay, so we know that here there is three O2, and here, this is three by two O2. So let's understand this. Three O2 minus, okay, minus three by two O2. This means that three O2 subtracting one and a half O2. So what is left? One and a half O2 is left. And what the other way of writing one and a half O2 is three by two O2. And this is what you see here okay so this is our like midway we have tried to eliminate you know the extra all this extra stuff now comes this challenge that we are now wanting to we need to introduce hydrogen okay we need to introduce three moles of hydrogen and we need to get rid of um the water in our intermediate reactions now so we need to get rid of the water, we need to get rid of, so let's write this down, what do we need to do? So we need, we won't be able to get rid of water because here's the thing, the state is in a gaseous state, so, but still we need to get rid of it. So what do we need? So get rid of H2O in the gaseous state, okay? get rid of three by two O2, okay? So this is one thing. And we need to introduce, we need to introduce three moles of hydrogen, three moles of hydrogen in as a gas, okay? So what do we do? We are now going to look at our, the third step is our bring in reaction number three, the pathway number three. Now what is happening here? Here in this pathway number three, we need three hydrogen. So therefore multiply this whole reaction by three. And when we do that, we multiply this number also by three. So now we are going to write down our third reaction, which looks like three moles of hydrogen as a gas reacting with three times half of oxygen 
half of oxygen gas, which is given here, half of oxygen plus one mole of water. And this is a gas, uh, sorry, gives you one mole of H2O, okay? And one mole of H2O is a liquid here, okay? And the prop, this one is negative 286 kilojoules. So when we multiplied it by three, this was also multiplied by three. This is also multiplied by three, okay? So basically multiplying by three gives you three a three H2, which is this, three, this makes it three by two O2, okay? And this is three H2O, and this when it multiplied by three gives you negative 858 kilojoules, okay? And now bring in your reaction, the intermediate one from the top, so we are going to just bring it here. Um, let me just erase this. So we have from here two borons, two borons as a solid plus three H2O, okay? Three H2O as a gas, okay? And this gives you B2H6, B2H6 as a gas plus three by two, O2 as a gas, okay, and 762 kilojoules. So basically, I'm just copying it from the top, the reaction that was intermediate, okay? So that is positive, 762. So now, what do we see here? What can we cancel out? So we are going to cancel out, as you can see, um, <clears throat> this is three and a half O2. This is the three and a half O2, and this also is three and a half O2. So this is three by two O2. This is what it means. So this piece and this piece cancel out, okay? So now the remaining are you're just going to bring down as it is. So let us see. Okay, so we have our next piece is two boron as a solid plus three H2O as a gas, okay? Now here's something you have to understand. Why did I not cancel out the H2O? Keep in mind, this is gas and this one is liquid. And that's where our fourth reaction comes into play. Where did it go, sorry. Fourth reaction comes into play where it converts the liquid to a gas and then gas can be converted to the liquid also by flipping. So we have here, so just copy things as they are. So here we have three H2O as a gas, and this is giving you um, plus, sorry, we have to add this also, three H2O, three H2 as a gas. Okay, so three H2 as a gas, plus three H2O as a gas, plus two boron as a solid. This gives you B2 H6, B2 H6 as a gas, okay, and uh, plus three moles of water as a liquid. And what do we do with the other? We have positive 762 minus, okay, 800. I'm going to just put this in the bracket. So, you know, minus 858. And this gives you a negative 96 kilojoules, okay? So now we have our fourth reaction, which is basically our reaction in which we are given H2O for going from a liquid to a gaseous state and needs 44 kilojoules of energy, but we need to get rid of now three moles of water, right? And something you also have to understand that this is three moles of water in a gaseous state. And this is three moles of water in a liquid state. And our target reaction is basically wanting you to um, go from the liquid to a gaseous state and it's opposite. And then it's three moles. So we are going to bring in three, multiply by this, and then this also multiplies by, by three. And then what happens? Um, liquid, so we have, um, one second. So yeah, so liquids and liquids will be, so let's just bring this number here. So three 
H2O, okay, as a liquid, is giving you three H2O as a gas. All right, and then bring in the other equa equation from the top, which is two moles of boron as a solid plus three moles of H2O as a gas plus three moles of H2 as a gas. And this gives you B2, H6 as a gas plus three moles of H2O and negative 96. So the, and then, sorry, this one is 44 times three also. I forgot to put it here. Um, 44 times three is 132. So this number here is 44 times three and that is 132 positive, okay? So now we are going to cancel this whole thing. The ones that we, we, we do, that's the three moles of water in a liquid state. And here you have, this water is in the uh, liquid state, okay? So these will cancel out. Three moles of water in a liquid state and three moles of water in a liquid state cancel out. Let's look at the other one. Three moles of water in a gaseous state and three moles of water in a gaseous state. These cancel out also. Opposites cancel out. And the rest of it is your target reaction. You just copy it down. Two moles of boron in the solid state reacting with three moles of hydrogen in the gaseous state. And this gives you one mole of B2H6 in a gaseous state plus, or in other words, the delta H value is, delta H value is 132 minus 96. And this gives you 36 kilojoules. Okay, so the value of delta H for the diphoborane formation is positive 36 kilojoules. That means it's an endothermic reaction. Endothermic, okay? All right, so this is your um, two and then two and then B2H6. So two borons, two borons. So we have everything, just make sure that you check it again, two borons. And then comes the 3H2, 3H2. Our reaction here is, so we have two borons, we have 3H2, and then we have a single B2H6. And here is your single mole or one mole of B2H6, okay? So this is how you balance the equations using the Hess law methodologies or the principles. And you find the value of delta H, which is basically the sum total of the delta H values from each of the pathways reactions. And that sum total would also means if it has to be subtracted, then you know, you do, you, you, you need to take care of that as well. Okay, so with that, I'm hoping that it was easy. And with a little bit of practice, you can get a hang of it. So thank you so much for walking and watching and <laughs> thank you. Bye bye.